my name is Miriam Schmitz, one of your ESRI instructors. And today I'm going to show you three simple tools to quantify the accuracy of an image classification using an existing land cover layer. The strategy is to use randomly distributed control points and quantify how many of these control points are correctly classified and how many of them are not. To do that, we create a misclassification or confusion matrix and calculate the different error rates based on that. Now let's take a look at the data. We have a gap land cover layer here provided by the USGS, which gives us detailed land cover types. This is our established data, our ground truth. And we have a new land cover layer, which is the result of an image classification. Notice though that the new land cover layer has slightly different classes than the gap land cover layer. And the first thing we need to do is to reclassify both layers to the same classification schema. So that has been done here, the gap land cover reclass layer and the new land cover reclass layer have actually the same classes. All right, now let's create the control points. The tool that we're going to use is create accuracy assessment points from the spatial analyst toolbox. And this tool will use the gap land cover reclass as input. It will add the cell values to of the gap land cover reclass layer of the ground truth layer to the attribute table of the points. So the target field that we're choosing here is ground truth. And the sampling strategy will be a stratified random sampling. All right, so when we run the tool, we create the accuracy assessment points layer. And you see in the attribute table, we find the cell values of the gap land cover reclass layer underneath the cell values underneath each control points in the ground truth field. So the next step is to populate the classified field with the value of values of the new land cover reclass layer. And to do that, we will use a tool called update accuracy assessment points. Time we're populating the classified field. Run the tool to create a new accuracy assessment points layer. And this new layer has both the classified raster values and the ground truth values in the attribute table. This is going to be the basis for creating the confusion matrix. So we run the tool compute confusion matrix with accuracy assessment points final as the input. This will be a standalone table in the geo database. And when we open it, you see we have the classes C1 to C7 in the horizontal here, the classes from the ground truth raster from the gap land cover reclass raster. And in the vertical, the classes from the new land cover reclass layer. In the diagonal, you see the number of control points that have been correctly classified. And down at the bottom, there are percentages created, producers accuracy and users accuracy. The producers accuracy per column, how much percentage wise of the control points have been correctly classified. And then, the user's accuracy is the same percentage per row. From the user's perspective, of course, it's most important to look at the classified raster and see how many control points from these classes have been correctly classified. And then there is the kappa, the overall accuracy. All right, I hope this tip was useful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.
Thank mm-hmm. you.